Yeah, I think the recent trends are that uh, people are trying to move towards uh, value-added products. So uh, the SWR pipes and the Agri pipes are very, very competitive. So generally people try, all the processors try to move now to CPVC, which gives a higher EBIT than this and it will be used in the construction industry and also specialized things like the foam core pipe. So the idea is to you know increase the product range so that you have a basket of pipes where the competition is very high, so it's a low EBIT and mixed with the higher EBIT pipes. I would say the main challenges come from the fluctuation in the raw material prices because of the international trends. So, this, so I think this is I think creating a lot of trouble for not only for the bigger players but also for the smaller players because the working capital requirement becomes very high in this industry. And I would say the second trouble is the spurious. You know, the there are some processors who are using very low quality. Uh, products they are making by putting more calcium, so this brings uh, pipes into a bad name. So these are the two things as of now. Yeah. I would say it was a path-breaking decision by the Honorable PM. You know. The Availability of uh, uh, clean drinking water to most of the Indians had been a uh, dream earlier. But now with the announcement of the uh, JJM and the Gargar Jal Yojana, you know, uh, pipe water will be supplied to almost, uh, I mean, uh, all the households of India. And that would envisage the laying of huge amounts of pipelines, that uh, huge requirement in the, uh, you know, the, in the pipes. The industry has responded very well by, you know, ramping up their capacities and, uh, you know, delivering in time and, uh, and and I would say generally the industry has uh, supplied uh, very well. Sustainability, uh, the environmental concerns, I mean, if you are talking about the lead free, like especially if you are talking from the uh, PVC pipes point, point of view, uh, the government has, uh, or the, the Green Tribunal, they have uh, asked the Indian manufacturers to stop using lead uh, uh, stabilizers in the pipes. And I think the last date for that is in the year 25 or 26. The industry has again responded well uh, by, you know, actually adopting. Many large uh, uh, processors have already adopted it. Many smaller players have also taken the initiative and, uh, you know, they have uh, adopted to this uh, Mandate. And hopefully, I think everyone will fall in line before the expiry of the time. Yeah, actually, the IAS are required in the Indian industry because that's why, you know, in India, lots of uh, manufacturers are there, they are not following the BIS standard. So it is very important to maintain the quality of the product in the market and to deliver the best product in the market, you should have to follow the BIS standard. Yeah, the capacity, you know, the India is a, always a polymer scare country. Oh, most uh, like I would say in PVC, it's a 40% is only always a manufactured in India. So uh, capacity addition will play a major role in the addition of plastic in the industry. Like Reliance is coming up with adding more than one lakh tons of uh, PVC. Like same like DCW and Shiram, they are adding the capacity. So our uh, dependency on the imports will get down. So it will be a very good for the Indian industry, for the plastic industry. Thank you so much for sharing your views with us. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you man. Thanks for your time. Thank you.